Hey learners, welcome to Ahmed Coaching and I'm your teacher Dr. Anam. Today we will study about difference between mitosis and meiosis. The first difference between mitosis and meiosis is that mitosis it occurs in the somatic cells. The somatic cells are actually the normal body cells. For example, if you get a cut on your finger, you will see that after some days that cut is healed. The cells of your finger, they are actually the somatic cells and the healing process is taking place because of the mitosis. Meiosis, on the other hand, it occurs in the germ cells. Germ cells are the cells which are going to produce egg or sperms. In the mitosis, nuclear division takes place only once. But in case of meiosis, the nuclear division takes place twice. In the case of mitosis, here the parent cells are present, the DNA it is duplicated in the S phase and then the half of the chromosome they move to one cell and half of the chromosome they move to other cell. So this nuclear division is taking place only once. While in case of meiosis, the parent cell they are going to divide into two cells just like this we have the same here but further the these two nucleuses or two cells which are produced they are further going to divide and like this in which half chromosomes they will move to one cell and the half will move to the other cell so it means that at this stage one time the nucleus divided and at this stage the second time nucleus divide the mitosis phases are prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase while in case of meiosis we have meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 similarly we have prophase 1 prophase 2 metaphase 1 metaphase 2 anaphase 1 anaphase 2 telophase 1 and telophase Two. So in case of mitosis we have the prophase, it enters into the metaphase, then we have the anaphase, then we have telophase and then we have the cytokinesis and we got the two cells. While in case of meiosis the cell it will first enter into the meiosis 1. The meiosis 1 is very important because of the process of crossing over. In the meiosis over due to the crossing over process here the next generation is going to be different from the parental generation. In this way, the prophase 1, metaphase, anaphase and telophase, it takes place and we got two cells. These two cells, they are going to enter into the meiosis 2 phase. Here again, the prophase 2, metaphase 2, anaphase 2, telophase 2 and then we will have the four cells at the end of the meiosis 2. So, the meiosis 2 always remember is just like the mitosis but the meiosis 1 is different because of the process of crossing over. In case of mitosis, the daughter cells, they are diploid. The diploid mean they are 2M or the number of chromosome is similar to the number of parent cells. While in case of meiosis, the daughter cells, they are haploid. It means they are M or the number of chromosome is half the number of the parent cells. This haploid condition is very important. Why? Be because during the process of fertilization, n number from the egg and n number from the sperm they will combine to make 2n number so they will restore the number of the parents in the case of mitosis no crossing over takes place the crossing over is actually the exchange of genetic material between the two homologous chromosomes so that the new generation they have something different as compared to their parent cells while in case of meiosis we do have the crossing over process and this takes place during the meiosis one mitosis increases the number of normal cells like i told you that if you get some injury on your finger that injury is healed because the number of cells increases at that particular site of injury along with this the small babies they grow up to adult why because of the process of mitosis while in case of meiosis the eggs and sperm cells they are produced which are used during the process of fertilization the mitosis it is involved in the healing and growth process 
while meiosis it is involved in the genetic variations genetic variations that the uh, next generation or the babies of the parents they are going to be different moreover the number of the chromosomes in their babies they will be equal to the parent cells so meiosis is important to stabilize the number of the chromosomes in case of mitosis two daughter cells they are produced that is nucleus divide and then we have two daughter cells while in case of meiosis four daughter cells they are produced because we have two nucleus divisions in case of mitosis small function results in cancer for example something happens in the cell and that cell is uh, going to divide uncontrollably so it can lead to the cancer while in case of meiosis the small function results in genetic disorders such as down syndrome Lanfinkler syndrome so it is very important for the mitosis and meiosis process to go normally any kind of change or any kind of mole functioning it may lead to disease so that was all about the difference between mitosis and meiosis if you have any question related to this topic you can ask me in the comment section